This is a huge discovery, and we think that it's a huge discovery. The most exciting piece of this remarkable instrument we've put in space is finding things that we didn't expect, that we can't explain, because that means that we have to revise our understanding of the universe. The Big Bang theory is the pinnacle of cosmic theory that explains our origins, but the James Webb Space Telescope has found something that completely goes against it. Neil deGrasse Tyson has said that the Webb Telescope saw black holes of a previous universe that created our universe. It might be time for our cosmic understanding to be rewritten again, but how much will the changes be? Join us as we explore the JWST discoveries which make no sense at all to astronomers. Could they have been wrong about the Big Bang, or was there a mistake with the measurements? Let's find out. Number 1, JWST found extremely early galaxies. Over the past century, one of the most significant scientific triumphs has been the formulation of the hot Big Bang theory. This theory proposes that the universe, as we perceive it today, emerged from a state that was hotter, denser, and more uniform. Initially suggested as a credible alternative to mainstream explanations for the expanding universe, the theory gained astonishing confirmation in the 1960s with the discovery of the prime Val fireball, now recognized as the cosmic microwave background. For more than 50 years, the Big Bang has stood as the preeminent theory explaining our cosmic origins, with an inflationary period happening before it and setting up the events. However, both cosmic inflation and the Big Bang have faced persistent challenges from astronomers and astrophysicists throughout the years, and the JWST has found yet another challenge. JWST introduced a new layer of complexity to the cosmic narrative. Its detection of early galaxies, unexpectedly more massive than anticipated, threatens to reshape our comprehension of the universe. The JWST revelation of these high-mass galaxies in the early universe suggests a potential need to re-evaluate our understanding of the cosmic framework. This discovery does not seamlessly align with existing astronomical models. The James Webb Space Telescope has only been operational for less than two years, but it has already provided unparalleled glimpses of the universe during the first few hundred million years after the Big Bang. The James Webb Space Telescope is upsetting the apple cart. All of a sudden, we realize that we may have to rewrite all the textbooks about the beginning of the universe. One notable revelation has been the unexpectedly quick emergence of large, star-studded galaxies. Utilizing the JWST's infrared sensing instruments, astronomers have pinpointed six colossal galaxies from the universe's infancy. These entities, if their magnitude is confirmed, possess the potential to reshape our perception of galaxy origins. Published in the journal Nature, these findings rely on data collected by the James Webb Space Telescope, depicting the universe as it existed 13.5 billion years ago, which is a mere 3% of its current age. So, what is it about these galaxies that's so confusing? A mere 500 to 700 million years after the colossal event that marked the birth of our universe, Something baffling unfolded, galaxies displaying a level of maturity similar to our 13 billion year old Milky Way. In these celestial entities, the mass of stars reaches several billion times that of our Sun, with one potential behemoth boasting a staggering 100 billion times the Sun's mass. To put it in perspective, our Milky Way harbors a star mass equivalent to around 60 billion suns. In other words, these galaxies are more massive than our own Milky Way. Astrophysicist Erica Nelson from the University of Colorado Boulder, co-author of the study, conveyed her astonishment, stating that it's bewildering for entities of such magnitude to show up so quickly. The conventional understanding didn't anticipate the swift formation of galaxies with stellar masses matching those of the Milky Way in the early years of the universe. The unexpected revelation challenges prevailing cosmological theories, which suggest galaxies evolve from small stellar and dust clusters, gradually growing in size over time. According to this narrative, matter in the early universe coalesced at a gradual pace, however, this narrative falls short in explaining the newfound colossal entities. The lead researcher, Evil Lob, questions how these monsters seemingly took a fast track to maturity. This revelation defies established scientific beliefs and disrupts the conventional wisdom that the universe's colossal galaxies took a considerably longer time to develop. 
Astronomers describe these entities as universe breakers, a term coined informally, noting that they are indeed living up to their name by challenging and reshaping our understanding of cosmic evolution. Astrophysicist Emma Chapman from the University of Nottingham in England, uninvolved in the study, suggests that if these findings withstand scrutiny, our perception of the early universe might undergo a seismic shift. The revelation of colossal galaxies in close proximity to the Big Bang challenges the notion of a dark cosmic era, suggesting that star formation could have been going on much earlier than we thought. However, before we start rewriting the annals of cosmology, a note of caution emerges from the researchers. The possibility lingers that some of these entities might be concealed in supermassive black holes. What appears as starlight in the images might, in fact, be gas and dust succumbing to their gravitational pull. Another astronomer, unaffiliated with the study, points out that the intricacies of black hole formation and growth during these early years remain shrouded in mystery. She says that the data introduces not a contradiction to cosmology but rather a call for understanding the novel physics governing their formation and expansion. To validate their discoveries, researchers could employ spectroscopy to capture a spectrum image of these identified objects, shedding light on their age. Galaxies from the early universe exhibit significant redshift, indicating that the light they emit has undergone considerable stretching on its journey to Earth. The higher the redshift value, the more the light has stretched, signaling greater distance and age for the galaxy. Spectroscopy could unveil whether these potential galaxies labeled high redshift candidates are as ancient as they appear or if they are intrinsically redshifted galaxies from a more recent cosmic period. Number 2. Michael Bourne's Take Astronomers emphasize the need for more observations to confirm the findings, but they suggest that regardless of the outcome, the identified mass implies a staggering revelation the known mass of stars during this cosmic era might be up to 100 times greater than previously estimated. Even if the sample size is halved, Michael Bourne Kushan from the University of Texas Austin adopts a different perspective on the issue, unveiling his insights in nature astronomy. The prevailing cosmological model labeled Lambda CDM, with CDM representing cold dark matter, posits a scenario where ordinary matter and dark matter were thoroughly mixed during the early universe. As dark matter halos collapsed to give rise to the first galaxies, a portion of the intertwined ordinary matter transitioned into new stars. Born Kushan says that we have very good evidence of the distribution of matter in the early universe from the cosmic microwave background. He embarked on calculating the proportion of ordinary matter that should convert into stars to align with the high-mass galaxies detected by the JWST. His conclusion, nearly every available atom would have been used in star formation. Yet Born Kushan deems this near 100% efficiency as bordering on the impossible. He says that the modern universe has about a 10% efficiency in comparison. Mark Vogelsberger from MIT, who wasn't involved in the study, says the paper's theoretical analysis is very sound. The calculation's robustness stems from minimal assumptions. According to Vogelsberger, despite Born Kushan's computations, does this imply the overthrowing of Lambda CDM? He stops short of dismissing Lambda CDM, stating that no other theory currently matches its capability, making it a last resort to contemplate replacing it with something else. But what alternative explanations could be in play? Number 3. Unexplainable Discoveries Leading a team from the University of Minnesota, Haley Williams unveiled the discovery of a captivating early galaxy merely 500 million years post-Big Bang, also relying on the JWST. The galaxy's faint visibility hinges on gravitational lensing amplification. Williams highlights its star formation rate, which is tens of times higher than galaxies from a slightly later era, while acknowledging the lower mass of this galaxy compared to those scrutinized by Born Kushan. Williams speculates on the potential applicability of this intense star formation to higher mass galaxies at similar redshifts. However, Born Kushan remains cautious, considering the small size of this object, just 105 light years across, significantly smaller than typical galaxies. He contemplates the possibility that it might be a stellar cluster instead. Addressing the tension in cosmological models, one alternative involves adjustments to Lambda CDM. 
Early dark energy models propose modifying the behavior of dark energy immediately after the Big Bang. This adjustment could reconcile discrepancies related to the Hubble constant to align with other observations. These models require extra matter to be present in the early universe. Born Kushan calculates that in such a scenario, the density of matter in early galaxies would triple, diminishing the need for hyper-efficient star formation to achieve comparable outcomes. However, early dark energy models contend that the universe is only 13 billion years old, a massive difference from the 13.7 billion number gained from other measurements. Another plausible resolution revolves around astronomers potentially misattributing some of the galaxy's light to stars. Born Kushan leans toward the likelihood that the light originates from accretion disks encircling supermassive black holes. Considering this one of the most plausible scenarios, astronomers, having glimpsed a handful of these galaxies so far, caution that their presence in a mere quarter millionth of the sky may not be representative of the entire cosmos. Joel Leia from Penn State, who was not involved in the research, suggests that with extensive survey data available, we might discover more galaxies with lower mass at similar redshifts, illuminating the matter further. The universe's enormity implies that the identified objects could merely represent a fleeting snapshot of the expansive cosmos. In conclusion, our cosmic journey remains replete with uncertainties. The discoveries stemming from the James Webb Space Telescope compel us to reassess our fundamental beliefs about the origins and evolution of the universe. The astronomical community finds itself at a pivotal juncture, confronting revelations that prompt profound inquiries about the nature of galaxies, black holes, and the cosmos as a whole. As we traverse this captivating frontier of knowledge, we remain vigilant prepared for further revelations that could reshape our understanding of the universe we inhabit.